Um, <laughs> Godard, French new wave genius or insufferable douchebag? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is Eric single? Has anyone even seen Eric tonight? Or you just happens to notice Eric? Eric is my tour manager. Um, what about Whitney? They are hot. I'm sure they are very happy to know that they are hot. Um, would you guys like to come out and speak to this? I think that is a that is a yes in Eric's case. Eric is single, and um, and Whitney is a. She's a maybe. <laughs> I can't really tell it's dark back there. Um, <laughs> dear Amanda, I like how you say, dear Amanda, it's like, this is for you. Um, how do I stop being so afraid of everything? <laughs> no. I, I wish there was a simple answer to that. You just need to go to more church. <laughs> the good Lord will put that into your heart. Um, you know, I can give you some advice about that, whoever you are. Um, and this is real advice, and it's very true. Um, I have found it in my life. Don't, don't try so hard to not be afraid. You're, you're just going to be afraid of everything. I'm afraid of everything. Um, I just accept that that's kind of the deal, is you be afraid of everything. And then when you realize that you're, that it's just our nature to be, to be scared and threatened by the environment around us, but then you just do the thing anyway. Because, you know, you're, you're scared shitless, and then you're like, okay, well, I'm scared shitless anyway. I can either do the thing or not do the thing. Just be scared shitless and do the thing. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what book made you cry the hardest? Wow. Um, I have to say, I've read, I read a book last year, right before I wrote my own book, called Daring Greatly by Brene Brown. That book made me cry. Um, I don't know what book has made me cry the hardest, but that book definitely made me cry. Um, Last one. Any advice for beginning a relationship? <laughs> Any advice for beginning a relationship with an older person? <laughs> Why are you asking me? Uh, I think it really depends. Like, if you're 15 and they're 19, it's really different than if you're 35 and they're 60 different set of things to consider. Um, I will tell you a story. I'm not all myself with the microphone. Um, I actually, I write about this a little bit in the book, and if you've read the book, this, this um, you'll know this passage, but um, I was really scared. Neil is 16 years older than I am, and I met him when I was 33, and Neil, if you don't know, Neil is my husband. And, um, and if you were wondering, because you can't always take these things for granted, also the father of this child. Um, we are in an open marriage. And um, I was really scared to be with uh, someone who is not, I wasn't scared to be with someone who is 16 years older than me because of how that looked. I was scared. Remember our question two questions ago about being afraid of everything? I was just afraid. I just kept projecting myself into this future where I was, you know, where we like fell in love and got married and merged our lives together. And then all I could picture was this 70 year old version of myself with this aged 86 year old husband who was going to die on me and leave me alone. I know, right? But these are the things we're human beings. Like, this, these are the ways we think. 
And it was scary. Um, but I was also falling in love with this guy. And he was perfect in so many ways. And around this time that I was like doing this dance with myself where I was like, Dave Neal came and not Dave Neal came and Dave Neal came and he's awesome, he's old, he's like, gonna die on me, and, but, but that's not a terrible thing to think, but maybe he will, and that's realistic, it be realistic, I don't know you <laughs> He's awful, like, this thing we do, right? And in this span of time, I happened to be having breakfast with a friend of mine named Lance, and um, he was dating someone, I think eight years older than him, maybe nine years. And they'd been together for five years, his boyfriend, who was, you know, successful, um, you know, artist, they're both artists. And I started grilling him, and I was like, how did you do that? Were you ever worried that, you know, he's like, you know, he's almost ten years older than you, and you know, it's not that this is bad in itself, but like he's ahead of you in life and he's sort of ahead of you in his career and, you know, he might die on you. <laughs> and, and he looked at me and he was like, well, you, you know, and they've been together for like five years. It's a serious relationship. And he looked at me and he was like, well, you know, he's, he's HIV positive, Amanda. And I didn't know this. And I... And I said, oh my god, when did you guys find that out? And he said, oh, I knew when I met him. And I said, wow, I, I feel so tasteless for asking this question, but did that frighten you away? And he said, well, it didn't matter. I was in love with him. And I thought, I was such an asshole. <laughs> And kind of, there was my answer, right? Like, anything can happen. You might get hit by a bus. You will be afraid of all these things, but then, like, that's a perfect example. I was really afraid. And then I just did the thing anyway.